Hey everybody, welcome back once again to another Jurassic World, where today we are returning once more to the park, obviously, <laughs> right? Ah, uh, man, off screen, look at what we did, look at what we did! We leveled up Narcissaratops, he is looking so well, so beautiful, so lovely. And uh, you know what, with actually one more feeding, not to Narcissaratops, but to our Tojangasaurus, we will complete a mission. And there we go! That was a mission that we got in a mystery pack by Miss Kwaswalski. And we are getting the big bucks now, <laughs> right? Oh uh, my god, no, not really. So, what's on the agenda today? Well, first and foremost, let's uh, just go around and collect from our usual suspects just really quick because that is probably the most important thing that we need to do at the moment. No, not really, but um, I actually collected from these guys right before we started. But, you know, it's always fun just to go around and check up on them and see how they're doing, right? How you doing, guy? I need to see a dentist, man. All right, well, let's uh, check in on Claire and see what she has going on. And then what happened? Well, vets diagnosed that the blood vessels were dilating in one of the vectrals, which might have caused the Triceratops to breathe irregularly. I had to use meds on board the mobile lab to slow down her heartbeat. A few minutes later, she started breathing okay. Does, does this ring a bell to anybody else? Is this like a throwback to the original movie? Like just, like just because a trike is on the ground, you know, I mean, wasn't that due to the plants that she was eating? Or do you think it was, you think they're trying to tie it in and say that it was a problem with like the original, like genome structure or something? Who knows? Hey, you shouldn't have told Hoskins to get on his knees. Private, get that trike some mouth to mouth now. Ha ha. Wow, that, that is really funny. Oh, right, like that video on YouTube where the old guy tries to resuscitate a dog and almost gets his nose chewed off. Man, I laugh so hard. Oh, grow up, you two. Owen, oh, file your report Monday. Lowry, I'm going to check on that new construction for the conference. Uh, yes, ma'am. Have 15 or more herbivores. Well, that's a hell of a mission. Thanks a lot, Claire. You freaking punk. Unbelievable. So, we have 10 herbivores right now, which is just like an act of, I don't know, I guess mediocrity, maybe? Um, yeah. So, 15. That's that's gonna be a while until we're able to complete that. And, uh, Miss Patricia wants us to evolve uh, this guy. Oh, no, not- <laughs> where is he? Oh, okay, just one over. This guy, there we go. Uh, to a level 31, which is not gonna happen. Or was it 21? I can't remember. 31. Yeah, well, that's not gonna happen. Vic. I'm not even gonna say it. Not even gonna say it. Who didn't expect him to say, Go to the battle arena. Carry on, my Jurassic Park son. You'll feel better once you've done the battle arena. Right? No. So. Um, today, we are going to go into the battle arena, obviously, right? And who should we bring into the battle arena? Hmm, who <laughs> indeed, right? Well, how about, yeah, I know, you're like, how about a Brawlosaur? Damn straight, you know, why not? So let's go ahead, let's do it. We are going to put a new Brawlosaur in today, and today it is the... Ankylosaurus and Indominus Rex 2-pack. So, let's get them out of the package. These things were a little tough to get out of the package. They, like, are tied in and junk, and it's just a mess. So, if you do get one, be careful you don't break his head off. Make sure you cut the thing off in the back, because I-Rex just didn't want to come out. But, let's go ahead and scan them in. Ankylosaurus is good to go. Dumbness Rex, look at him! Oh man! He is just unbelievable. You know, you can actually see him just blending into the background right there, becoming all white. And you know what? For kicks, let's throw in another Brawlosaur. Why not? 
Ah, T-Rex can't join! Really? Now see, I heard about this. I heard that you can only wait 24 hours until Brawlosaur can actually appear in another matchup. So we're a little short of that. So let's see if uh, Carnoraptor can join. Carnoraptor is good to go. So, we have Ankylosaurus, Indominus Rex, and Carnoraptor ready to face off in Battle Stage 21. So, here we are. Look at this. Look at this matchup. This is just unbelievable. Ah. I can't believe Ankylosaurus has such a weak attack, but that's kind of weak. And they're bringing out their T-Rex thinking that they're going to scare the crap out of me, which it does. And <laughs> Phenomenal, right? Uh, but Irex is here to take on. to just do a blunt attack. I didn't see that coming. Alright, we'll sub out. <laughs> if I'm gonna lose one carnivore, I don't want it to be Indominus. So, let's bring in Carney Raptor, and we will just save ourselves for, <laughs> for defeat on this one. We're basically setting the Raptor up to be killed, which, there he goes. So, Indominus, it's all up to you. It is your time to shine. Hopefully, you can do just that. Um, we're looking at, like, maybe, what? I don't know, per attack, 60? Ooh, this is... I don't know if this is going to work. I'm going to try it and see. Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. Game over, man. Game over. Um, maybe. <laughs> I forgot that there was an Ankylosaurus. Crap. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, let's just save one and we'll do three. Which is exactly what the Ankylosaurus had in mind, too. Awesome. Um, let's say one and do four. I'm just waiting for the Ankylosaurus to attack. Because that way, we will at least be able to attack him. And we won't have any defensive applications in the way. You know? So, with our five, we should be able to hit him just straight forward. And be done. And more or less. That's what happens <laughs> when you mess with Irex, right? Ah, look at him. He's a courageous monster. <laughs> he is. He's a Yeah. I almost said he's a Cretaceous monster, but that wouldn't be right. But yeah, so we unlocked our super rare bad boy there who, uh,. Sure, whatever, you know, sometimes I'm just like, I don't even care, you know, and you might notice that the hatchery has a couple of new people in it. Well, if you didn't pay attention, now you know, we did some battle stages off screen. Uh, one was for, I think it was 19, and that was for Ankylosaurus, which we have right here. Cute little guy. And yeah, Vic, thank you. Thank you very much. So, we have, oh, part two super rare dinos. Sweet. Good accomplishment, I guess. We have T Rex in the hatchery. He has a very, very, very long hatch time, okay? Um, do not get discouraged with this. Just wait it out. Be patient because he will hatch in 52 hours. <laughs> and I think when he went in there, it was, it might have been 75. I honestly can't remember. Um, but yeah, it's it's basically like, you know, it's a couple of days. 
so you just gotta wait it out. Be patient. Don't go spend $561, because that is just insane. But we will collect our Guanlong, which we got in the mystery pack. Put him down with the others, with the other Guanlongs. All the Guanlongs get down tonight, right? Um, I can't remember if I showed you guys this, but we evolved Guanlong. He, he looks good, I think. <laughs> Those feathers are really like starting to show, aren't they? He has like this nice little layer of fur on him, pretty much. Which, I don't understand why they did that for Guanlong, but then like when it comes to our other raptors, you know, like Pyroraptor. Well, actually you can see a little bit of fur on him, can't you? And some feathers. See, I didn't notice that before. And now... And like Utah Raptor, like you you, can, you really can notice the feathers on him and stuff. So... Or the fur at least. Look at his tail though. Is there any... No, there's no feathers. There's no clear feathers on him. It's just pretty much like a... A nice little layer of... Hair. Almost. Like very fine hair. So... Cool beans! <laughs> we, we just... We just thoroughly inspected our raptors. And, uh, some of our carnivores, so, good deal. Well, what else is on the agenda for today? We don't really have a lot. We have maybe a chance to activate a harbor. I mean, we can upgrade the harbor, which we will soon, hopefully, but it costs 100,000 coins, so... Kind of got to hold off on that for the time being, but... Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, we're, we're just kind of just winging it right now, looking like 15 herbivores. Goddamn Claire, you know, I mean, how, how, how in the world am I going to get 15 herbivores? So let's see when, if like we go by levels, when we will unlock the rest of the herbivores. Okay, so we have a pterosaur. Carnivore, it, it that's a herbivore. I can't tell what it is though. Maybe it, it's not a Gallivinus. Um, not sure. So one, and then Spinosaurus, and then Benitosaurus, which we already have, and Allosaurus, I think, and then some kind of Seropod. I'm not sure, but that would be two. And man. Corythosaurus, which we already have, that's that would be three. Uh, four. I think we need five. So we would have to get up to battle stage 36, essentially, to accomplish Claire's mission. That blows. <laughs> you know? I mean, seriously, it does. It just blows so hard. Um, yikes. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, we will get back to this as soon as we can and uh, hopefully evolve some more herbivores, get a nice look in on some of our new friends, hopefully see the T-Rex next time here in Jurassic World. Bye.